In this lecture, we're going to look at something called salts. Now, salts are formed whenever acids and bases react. So, for example, let's look at a hypothetical reaction of a hypothetical acid and a hypothetical base. So, we have HX plus MOH. So, these guys associate to form the H ion, X ion, M ion, and hydroxide ion. So, this H plus ion and the hydroxide ion will react to form water. And this X ion and the M ion will react to form our salt. Now, different types of salts exist. Let's see what types of salts are formed when strong acids react with strong bases. So, to illustrate this, let's see an example. So, a strong acid, hydrochloric acid, and a strong base, sodium hydroxide, dissociate to form an H plus ion, a chloride ion, sodium ion, and hydroxide ion. Now, in the same way that these guys react to form water, these two guys will react to form our water, while these two guys will react to form our salt. Now, notice I wrote neutral salt. And in fact, strong acids and strong bases react to form neutral salt. And that's because our final solution has no presence of acids or bases. And let's see why. Well, this guy has a high Ka value because it's a strong acid. And this guy has a high Kb value, also because it's a strong base. And that means our equilibrium will lie all the way to the right. So at equilibrium, we're not going to have any of these guys present. And we're not going to have any of this guy or this guy present due to these two acids and bases. Now, auto-ionization of water will still occur, but we're going to have the same concentration of this as this. So uh, in our final solution we're only going to have water and the neutral salt present or just the salt present and because our concentrations of H plus and OH minus are equal this is a neutral salt. So combining these two guys to form this guy and this guy is the same thing as taking a cup of water and adding some salt inside. The result is the same as if you would take some hydrochloric acid and some sodium hydroxide, mix them, and get this. The two results are the same. So, let's see what types of salts are formed when strong bases and weak acids react. So once again, let's illustrate using an example. So acetic acid, a weak acid, and sodium hydroxide, a strong base, react to dissociate into acetate ion H plus ion, sodium ion, and hydroxide ion. Now, in the same way that these two guys form water, and these two guys form water, this guy and this guy will also form our water. But now, this acetate ion and this sodium will form a basic salt. So we see that strong bases and weak acids produce basic salts. Well, this has to do because of a hydrolysis reaction. And let's see what happens. So this is a weak acid, and that means its Ka will be low. So equilibrium for this guy will lie all the way to the uh, left, not the right, as in this case. That means at our solution, when our solution is formed at equilibrium, we're going to have some of these guys present, right? We're going to have a bunch of these guys present. And that means at equilibrium, we're not only going to have water and salt, we're also going to have this guy present. So we're going to have this, bit, uh, this ion, acetate ion, and our water molecule from here. And these guys will now react because this will act as an acid and this will act as a base. Right? Because this is a conjugate base of this acid. And because this conjugate acid is weak, this conjugate base is strong. And that means it will react with water to form back the acetic acid and a hydroxide ion. And this hydroxide ion is what creates the basic solution. And because we have a basic solution, we're going to have the basic salt. So anytime strong bases react with weak acids, we produce basic salts. Now how basic our salt is depends on the Kb value of our reaction. 
the higher the KB value, the stronger this base. And that means the more basic our salt. So let's look at what types of salts are formed when strong acids react with weak bases. So let's examine the following example. Hydrochloric acid, a strong acid, reacts with ammonia, a weak base. And in the presence of water, they dissociate into H plus ion, a chloride ion, and our ammonia. Now ammonia reacts with H to create ammonium, a positively charged ion. Now this positively charged ion then reacts with the chloride to neutralize the charge, creating an acidic salt. Now since we begin with water, we also have water at the end result. Now, let's examine why we have an acidic salt. Remember, we begin with a weak acid that has a low Kb value. And that means equilibrium will be far to the left. Our reactants will be favored, or at least our ammonia will be favored. So, that means this weak base has a strong or relatively strong conjugate acid. So what happens when our conjugate acid is formed? What happens when ammonium is formed when this guy combines with this guy? Well, we get ammonium. And ammonium will not want to exist in this state because it's a relatively strong conjugate acid. So it will want to dissociate back into our ammonia. But now it dissociates back into ammonia in the presence of water. And when water is in the mixture, what happens? Well, this guy's an acid, so this guy must be a base, and our base will accept the H ion, forming back our ammonia and creating hydronium. So now at equilibrium, we're going to have more hydronium, and that means our acidity of our solution will increase. So our salt will be acidic. Therefore, we see that conjugate acid determines the pH of our solution. And the higher the Ka, the stronger our conjugate acid, and the more acidic our salt, or the more acidic our solution. Now, that means whenever we mix strong acids and weak bases, we create acidic salts. So let's look at what types of salts are created when weak bases and weak acids are reacted. So there's actually a competition between the conjugate acid, and the conjugate base. And both Ka and Kb must be considered. Now if Ka wins, or our conjugate acid wins, we get an acidic solution, or an acidic salt. And if our Kb wins, then we get a basic solution, or a basic salt.